Hello and welcome to this full body yoga flow with a nice sound bath at the very end. Go ahead and find a nice comfortable seat, placing your hands on your thighs, palms facing up to accept energy, or palms facing down to feel a bit more grounded. Be in here by just finding the present moment by connecting to your breath, focusing on the breath in and the breath out. and setting an intention for your practice. What are you looking for within yourself? Bringing your right ear to your right shoulder, begin to circle the head in one direction, getting a nice even stretch along the entire circumference of your neck and switch directions. Returning the head back to center, leaning the hips over to your right side Reach the right arm up and over your head towards the left. So both feet should be over onto the outside of your left hip. Returning back to center and switch. Bring your hips over to the left, feet over to the right. Returning your body back to center. Reach both arms over your head. And as you exhale, return your hands down to the ground. Facing the top of your mat, with your feet together, legs together, grab onto your heels and round your forehead down to your knees for forehead to knee pose. If it's available in your body, begin to lift your hips, keeping a firm grip on your heels. As you feel a nice opening to the entire back body and a compression to the thyroid in the throat. Breathing here, short, sharp breaths and slowly release. Coming to all fours, inhale, drop the belly, look up for cow pose. Exhale, round through the spine for cat pose. Continuing to move through this with your breath. Exhale, really, really rounding the, the back, pressing the ground away through hands, knees, tops of the feet. Find a neutral spine. and extend the right leg back. Exhale, tap the foot down, inhale, lift. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, keeping the core engaged as you lower and lift, lower and lift. Bending that back knee. We're just going to find some big circles going out and around as big as you can get it to just massage that hip joint. Now switching directions. And extending the leg backwards, bending the knee again, and grabbing that foot with your opposite hand. Pressing the foot into your hand, lift the leg up as high as you can go. And release. Curl the back toes and lift that back knee, lifting the leg up nice and high. As you exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. And once again with the knee circles, this time just in a downward facing dog. Just massaging through the hip joint, moving the knee in one direction, and then switching directions. Now 
gently extending through that leg, lift it up high, and exhale, set the foot down to the earth. Pedaling out the feet, noticing the differences in the sides of your hips. Inhale, high onto the toes, and as you exhale, set the knees down to the earth. Child's pose. Relax through the hips, and once again, noticing how the right side might feel versus the left. Inhale, coming back to all fours. Exploring the other side, extending the left leg back. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Keeping the leg as straight as possible, pointing the toes. Now bending that back knee, finding those big circles going in one direction. Trying to keep the weight evenly distri distributed among both hands. And reverse your circle. Extending your left leg back. And then bending your back knee and grabbing that foot with your right hand. Pressing the foot into your hand first. Engaging through the inner thighs as you lift the foot up towards the ceiling. And release. Extending that leg back. Lift the foot up nice and high in a three-legged dog. Bend the knee. And then we're going to find those circles with your knee going in one direction. And switching direction. Lift the leg up high. And exhale, set the foot down to meet your right. Pedaling out the feet. Noticing the subtle differences in the body. And on your next inhale, reach the right leg up nice and high. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Engage the inner thighs as you reach the arms above your head. High lunge. Really engaging your back thigh to straighten your back leg. Exhale, set the hands down to the ground, framing your front foot. Set the back knee down and extend your front knee for a half split. Inhale, bend, low lunge, look up. Exhale, extend, forehead to knee. Inhale, bend the knee. Looking up, sinking the hips down low. And exhale, flex your front foot as you send the right hip back. Anamanasana. And now bending the front knee, curling the back toes, and stepping back into downward facing dog to lift the right leg up high and step the foot back between your hands. This time keep the back knee high as you bend the front knee deep and then extend through the front knee. Lift the hip. Bend into that front knee, nice low lunge, and exhale, extend, drawing the right hip back. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. On your next exhale, you're going to extend through the front leg and bend your back knee, coming onto the heel of the front foot, and then extend the back leg. So now we're focusing on bending the back knee and extending the back knee keeping your front leg as straight as possible. Maybe a slight bend into your front knee if you'd like to plant the front foot on the extension. And one more here. Extend. Now dropping the back knee down to the ground, uncurl the back toes low lunge and reach the right hand up to the ceiling 
option to grab the back foot or you can just keep with the hand reaching straight up to the ceiling. Release the back foot. Plant the hands, lift the back knee and step back into downward facing dog, reaching the right leg up high and exhale, set the foot down to the earth. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Engage through your inner thighs and extend through the front knee. Inhale, bend, drop the hips low. Exhale, extend. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. This time we're going to bend the back leg, extending through the front leg. And exhale, extend. Inhale, bend the back knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. And exhale, extend. Bend and extend. Once again, keeping that front leg as straight as possible. And now sending the back knee down to the ground. Uncurl the back toes, left hand reaches up, shining the heart up, an option to grab the back foot. Bring your hands back to the front. Hands to the inside of that front foot as you pivot into a skandhanyasana, bending deep into that front leg, coming onto the heel of that back foot, opening through the inner thighs. Option to keep the hands on the ground or bring the hands together at heart center. Breathe into the inner thighs and hips. And now planting the hands down, we're gonna swing over to the opposite side same pose doing your best to keep that heel grounded on the bent leg as well as the straight leg and now pivot to frame that back leg and step back into downward facing dog now facing the opposite way on your mat on your next inhale reach the right leg up high as you exhale, bend the knee and step the foot between your hands. Step the back foot forward about a foot so that you can square off the hips, bringing the right hip back. And then reaching the arms forward, bring the body up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, bend the elbows back. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, bring your body back upright and interlace your fingers behind your back to lift the heart. Go ahead and grab opposite elbows behind your back. As you exhale, fold forward for pyramid pose. Allow forehead to come down to your knee. And welcome to bring a soft bend to the knees while keeping the soles of the feet grounded. Inhale, find a slight lift as you set the hands down to the ground. And go ahead and bend that knee into your chest and step the foot all the way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, bend the knee and set the foot behind you for wild thing. Lifting through the hips, back bend. Exhale, set the hips down for just a second and inhale, lift the hips back up into the wild thing. Exhale, sit back down. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, sit down, and inhale last time, lifting the hips nice and high. And then plant yourself back into your three-legged dog, reaching the right leg high, planting the hands. And then we're just going to set this foot to the outside of your left hand, 
fallen triangle, reaching the left arm up and over your head. Set the hand down, pivoting on the back toes for just a moment, breathing into this IT band stretch, and then setting your right knee behind your right wrist for pigeon pose. Set the hips down. Welcome to bring a block or blanket or even pillow underneath that left hip. Sitting up nice and tall to begin, I want you to grab opposite elbows behind your back as you sit up tall. As you exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting back up. And exhale, lower down. If it's too advanced to grab the opposite elbows, you can always just keep the hands down on the floor as you lift and lower. And release. Next time that you're lowered down, hold it there, allowing your forehead to rest on the backs of your hands. Next inhale slowly brings you back up onto your hands as you reach the right leg back up into your three-legged dog and set the foot down into downward facing dog. Cuddle at the feet. Notice the subtle differences and then reach the left leg up high. As you exhale, step the foot between your hands, stepping the back foot forward to find a three feet distance between your feet and then bring the arms up body parallel to the ground. Inhale reaches the arms forward, exhale cactus the arms back. One breath, one movement. On your next inhale, bring yourself all the way upright, interlace your fingers behind your back again just to lift the heart, and then bring your hands to opposite elbows. Inhale, lift the heart again, and exhale, fold forward, forehead to knee, allowing the left hip to reach towards the back of your mat and the right hip to melt forward. Each inhale, lengthen through the spine, and each exhale, fold into the space. One more full breath here. And release your hands down to the floor. Inhale, bring your right knee into your chest. And exhale, extend it all the way to the back of your mat for a lunge. Step back into your down dog and reach the left leg all the way high. Exhale, bend the knee and open up into wild thing on this side, reaching the hips up high. Exhale, sit the hips down. Inhale, reach them back up. Exhale, drop the hips low. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Flipping our way back around, reach the left leg high. And exhale, slide the left foot to the outside of your right hand, fall in triangle. Right arm reaches up, arching the hips, lifting them as high as they can go. Go 
Go ahead and set the right hand back down to your mat, but pause here in this IT band stretch that is so often overlooked. And then we slide that left knee behind your left wrist for pigeon pose. Setting ourselves up the same way we did on the opposite side. Hands can either stay on the ground or you can bring your hands into heart center. As you exhale lower, inhale, lift up high. Now releasing the hands down, go ahead and let your forehead relax onto the backs of your hands for a more passive approach. Slowly bring yourself back up onto your hands. Curl the back toes to lift the back knee and reach the left leg up high and set the foot down to the earth for downward facing dog. Inhale, rounding forward to set the knees down into a child's pose. And now rounding forward again to flip yourself onto your back and find your final resting pose in Supta Baddha Konasana. Placing your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And if this is a lot for your hips, you can always just extend your legs into a Shavasana. Now preparing ourselves for our sound bath.
your toes, your awareness back to your body. Bring yourself back to this present moment. And you're welcome to bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position at this time. Or you can continue lying on your back until you are ready, however long that may take. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Namaste.